Yeah. Hey guys. I don't know what that's uh, about. It's Ghost Hunter Dan, Ghost Hunter Larry. We're at the Stillman Valley battle site. And I'm not sure why the gimbal is doing what it's doing right now. There we go. That's a little better, maybe. I don't know. But don't know. we're going to kind of take you. See, now you can't see shit. What yeah, is this? I don't know. I don't know why the gimbal's being a bitch right now. I don't know if that is a zoom or if it's like a. I don't know. I don't know what that does. But anyway, this is the battleground. Well, it's, it's centered now. This is where we go all the time. Fortunately, it's too windy for video. It's really windy out here. Too you look windy. Look at the flag and see it. Yeah. So anyway, um, walk up this little embankment. Bunny. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. It's like a dog got him by the tail. Uh, so anyway, this is where we go all the time. And hey, Russ. And uh, Jim Heater was on with us earlier. Now, Jim, you're a big Lincoln fan like I am. And the cool thing about this site is that Abraham Lincoln was a young militia captain during the Black Hawk War. And uh, the men that are buried here, right there where Larry's at, he helped bury them. So, Russ, yep, you and Sandy have been here. Uh, Russ, we've got a new gimbal. And uh, that's what we've got the phone on right now. So, that's why you got a lot smoother movement, but uh, I can even hold it out to the side, but it's kind of cocks it a little bit. Uh, but it's pretty much keeping the keeping the phone steadier. Hi, Anna. Uh, so it says the presence the presence of the soldier statesman martyr Abraham Lincoln assisting in the burial of these honored dead has made this spot more sacred. And up on there, actually, if we had a black and white camera, there's a really cool picture of. The Indians and the militia fighting. Yeah, there is. It's carved into there. Yeah, it's it's etched. Yeah. If I back up enough and hold it up, you might. Yeah. The gimbal doesn't allow us to do it because it's going to keep the phone. There it is. That's that's the etching right there, guys. I don't know if you can see it all that well. Hey, Sandy. So, yeah, the, the gimbal's kind of being a bitch right now. So. Yeah, I don't know what the... I don't know why it's doing this. Look at that. Yeah. So we still got some bugs to work out. Even, no, it's... I wouldn't you're force grinding, it. You're grinding. You're yeah. grinding. I felt a grind. Right. So, anyway, I don't know why it's doing that, but... That's one of the... That's why we're out here testing that's it. That's why we're testing it. So, I mean, for the... Yeah, yeah look at this. The for the most part, it's... Uh, it works pretty good. Let's turn it off and just pull the phone off. Uh, all right. So turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Open that up. Oh, you got it. I got the phone. All right. So we're gonna go mobile. That's the gimbal. So this is what we have the phone in, and it, it keeps everything even. But it does this number here. Yeah. So the phone sits right in there. And then you're supposed to be able to do this. And then see how Larry moves that around. The phone's but, going like this. But the this. phone's doing that. So we're not sure. We're not sure what's going on with it. But it probably needs to be calibrated. And we just took it out of the box and threw a phone on it. Right. So, so. we we do need to calibrate it correctly. So, but well, for the most part, it, it did work. It did work really well. So. Yeah. Um, I'm happy with it. But this is the whole battle site. This is, or the whole battleground. So Not we've had big. shadow play over in these trees here. And uh, we've had a lot of different things happen down here. So we've got a lot of good ghost box. I mean, if you watch any of our YouTube videos and you see me laying on the, or laying, not laying, but sitting on the ground, it's usually right here. I mean, I'm usually sitting right here. So, um, 
There's the gravestones of the men who died here. Captain John Giles Adams is the one we talk about a lot. So, uh, not too many places that you're going to see gravestones that say Black Hawk War on them. But you might see some that have served in the Black Hawk served, War. Yeah. Now these three gentlemen right here, Gideon Munson, Bird Ellis, and Joseph Draper, are not buried here. They have stones here, but they're not buried here. And the reason is, is because Gideon Munson, I believe, was a scout. And he actually took off after... After... Blackhawks forces when they went headed back that way and was killed up there and then the other two were actually killed um, off-site here too um, but to our knowledge they were not brought back here to be buried they were buried where they fell which in 1832 that was often the practice so well and back then none of these houses behind Dan were here right so they could have fallen under a house right now right yeah and you know, I'm sure if, if they were and the house was put in, they were dug up, but there's no way to know who they were. It's just a body. Hi, uh, am I going to say this? Janita? Hi, Janita. She says, Janita, I, if I'm saying that right, Janita says, hi, everyone. What's up? So, yeah, we're we're here live in Stoneman Valley, Illinois. Probably really windy. Um, it's very windy on there. That's why I'm being really loud. But there's the monument. There's the militia soldier on top. Something that they did neat that uh, Russ and Sandy, when you were here last with me, they hadn't done before. There's the state of Illinois sign. Yeah, it says Stillman's defeat. Put in in 1934. Now they didn't rebury these gentlemen here until 1899. So almost. Oh, yeah, and that's real nice. Um, Janita says I said it right. Okay, well, that's good. I, I don't like messing up people's names. But something that they, they did here down in Stillman Valley is the old sidewalk right there was, used to be the only way you could get up here. Now they put a ramp so that everybody can come up and, in, and enjoy the... Uh, sorry, guys, enjoy the monument. So that's what it looks like. Uh... I got some really cool pictures with the militia soldier and the Stillman Valley in back of it. Uh, it's very cold today here. What? It is? Yeah. It wasn't the last time we were here. So that's really nice that, uh, you know. One of the places that we love the most, somebody's busting boards and stuff off of the benches. Bust the queen off. Hi, Deborah. This one here took a good chunk of the concrete with it. Yeah, that board wasn't gone the last time we were here. No, I've sat on this bench numerous times. So somebody busted it right off of the cement. So this one here is that's cracked. That's cracked. Too. Oh, oh, geez. See, that's not even connected anymore. Yeah, somebody's been trying to vandalize the battleground, so that's real nice. Uh, as long as they leave the monument and the stones alone. Still annoying. But if you guys see this video, and if you're one of them who vandalized and see this video, you know, it's too bad they didn't have cameras around here. Or you better hope I don't catch you doing it when I come down here because one of us or both of us will be going to jail when I kick your ass. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, guys. This is where we're at all the time. You can check out our YouTube channel and see a lot of videos of great ghost box stuff we've got in here. Plus our, our Adams picture. Yep, plus our John Giles Adams he picture. Was over there, right? He was over in there. So, so if we if we reenacted it, here, actually I'm gonna give the phone to Larry and I'm gonna go and stand about where I caught him. So I was standing over on the steps. It is very disrespectful, guys. I don't know why. I'm hoping it just broke on its own. But 
like like Dan said, last time we were here, which really wasn't that long ago, maybe a couple weeks, that was still there because I sat on that bench. So Dan is going to be our our Captain Adams out there. Where were you taking the picture? Over here, okay. By the flag? Oh, okay. So Dan said he was standing over here by the steps. He actually wasn't even taking the picture. He was taking a picture of Lexi. And that's about where Captain Adams was. Right over there. So, pretty far away. I don't think they can't hear you. <laughs> I don't think they can hear you. So what you guys need to realize is that picture. Oh, that's, that's there you are. Brought in pretty, pretty good, so you guys can see him. Right. But that's the house that he's kind of in front of. Kind of sees. You know, and we only got his head, so. Right. But Larry and I are going to stop over to the next town over, uh, stop into the historical society, see if they have any information for us because we're writing the Black Hawk War book. Yep. And uh, yep. that is the Ogle County Historical Museum over the next town over. If someone's going to have it, they should. They should. So I'll get this back to you. So. Can you wrap that up? So there's, there's Larry. Um. So yeah, guys, this is the battleground. This is where we spend a lot of time. And now we're, uh, into the wind. now we're walking into the wind, so it's a good thing I have a big, loud mouth. So did you pick that up and throw it away? Yeah, I did. So yeah, uh, lots of disrespect going on down here, just like any other cemetery. You got uh, probably a bunch of kids from town coming, hanging out. Or you had somebody see, hear us on the radio or see us on TV and talk about it, and now they came down and I'm tried really, to do stuff. I'm going to really hope not. I'm going to hope not, too, I'm gonna, because I'm gonna that's going to really, gonna really piss me off. Right. But, you know, that's that's the risk of doing what we do and bringing attention to places like this. We're bringing attention to places like this. And I really hate to do that. I mean, I, I like to do it because I don't want these men to ever, ever be forgotten. Russ says you're getting fat. Me? Yeah, that's what he said. It's a poofy coat. There's, I got stuff in here. <laughs> Russ, that wasn't very nice. Yeah. You put on weight too, mister. You uh, hear me? It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. I've seen video. Yeah, Larry says you put on weight too, Russ. So. I'm well fed now. That's now, nice when Larry when Larry jumped that night on video, that's the that's the air conditioner unit that kicks on and oh, off. Look how big those things are. Those are huge. And it was dead quiet. And so, so Larry took some pictures here today. Yeah, the camera kept dying. So. We took some, uh, we took some other stuff, some other pictures, um, up by the gathering site. Whoa, up by the gathering site. So, um, if we'll we throw make those it down up. Or again, we might take some more. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna do a whole lot more today, though. We got a lot of stuff to do. We just, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope that we see some really cool stuff over at the Historical Society. Hey, John. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, there it is. That's the battleground. That's where we do a lot of our stuff. So, uh, John Stevens says hi. So, Ghost Hunter Dan, Ghost Hunter Lawrence, live at the battleground. John, we bought a new gimbal. Gimbal. For the phone. For the phone, so we can do live streams and not have the. Yep. Eh, but it, we gotta, we gotta calibrate it. So. Now we are doing a paranormal tech video series that's gonna be starting soon. This is gonna be one of the first episodes. That'll be one of the first. So you guys we do. will find out what it is, how it works, pros and cons, and then where to buy it in that video. Right. So, so if you're interested, I mean, right now we have to calibrate it because it. There's still some bugs to work out. But it is pretty cool. But it's really cool because yeah. it's all automated. It worked up at the gathering spot pretty well. It did. So it did. so it's got to be something here that we can adjust, right? So that it's better. So I, we just don't know yet. Yeah. So anyway, it's getting cold. My hands are starting to actually feel numb. So Ghost Hunter Dan, Ghost Hunter Larry, Battleground Cemetery, Stillman Valley, Illinois, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Take care.